mechanical engineers, physicists, and mechanics who don't really like chemistry. And I think it's because they don't think about it in the right way. They don't think about the fact that chemistry has a lot of physical aspects of it, that there's chemical geometry going on that just like, you know, you got to fit, you know, a square shape into the square hole and the triangle shape in the triangle hole. The same sort of idea happens with the chemical world in that there's different geometries, different, a lot of different shapes. And with these different shapes, you can tell a lot of things about these chemicals. Uh, some, some geometries are stronger than others, and uh, some are just bigger than, than other chemical compounds. And so you can actually tell a decent amount about what that chemical will do or um, how, how strong it is by how big it is and how, how it's shaped, what the geometry is of it. Back in 1906, uh, there was a guy named Harvey Wiley that was contracted uh, to help start up the FDA uh, and look into the different uh, food concerns, different additives that could be added to foods and say whether or not it was healthy. This guy Wiley, who's a little, he's a little bit out there, he would have volunteers come up and they would eat different things with certain food additives in their in their meal and they would say whether or not things were safe to eat for the rest of the population by whether or not they were getting sick, how sick, and things like that. Which is a little bit odd because nowadays we don't really test things on humans. Uh, we reserve that for animals. Fast forward a couple years and we've discovered that trans fat is bad. Um, but something I've been wondering for a while is what in the world is trans fat? Like what, everyone says it's bad, everyone says it's, it can cause, you know, heart issues and things like that. What the heck is trans fat? That goes right back to um, the, the chemical structure and the, the geometry of the type of fat or the, the compound, if you will. And a, a trans fat, essentially what trans means for chemicals is that uh, you essentially you have a little stick and there's a compound on one side of the stick and then there's also a compound on the other side of the stick, sort of on alternate sides. There's also something called cis, which means that they're on the same side of said stick. We found that trans fats can cause issues with high blood pressure and heart disease, things like that. And that's because uh, trans molecules generally are a bit bigger and bulkier because instead of being on the same side, they're on opposite sides. It essentially makes them bigger and harder to pass through different membranes. A, a good example of this in, in the like macro scale, the real world is, think about trying to move a couch into a door, like through a doorway. That would be like a cis molecule because both, both the arms are on the same side. But if you get a really weird looking couch, I don't know who, whatever, maybe some famous person wants to put a weird looking couch in their house. So you get something that's got a, an arm on this side and then has an arm on that side. Well, you're gonna have to pick it up and like reorient a lot and just work your way through it. And it's gonna be difficult to, to get that uh, sort of Z shape in through that threshold. And that, that's one of the things associated with the different chemical geometry. Cis and trans compounds are just one aspect, one itty bitty portion that is involved of chemical structures and geometries. Six.